Hi guys, it is actually a pleasant day here in the end times <coughs> in late November in the shithole paradise of Garfield, Texas here on Wednesday, November 27th, 2019 and uh, so I got to share some good news with you here in the Doomosphere on the mainstream media today. I cannot believe we have some good news. Anyone who acts like Hambone Little Tail never brings good news. But before I do that, I just want to make a quick, uh, I don't know if maybe is this an amplification and clarification. I, I'm really enjoying reading the comments to uh, my little video yesterday, Hambone Little Tail's love letter to the near-term human extinction support group. <laughs> yes, and, and I do support near-term human extinction, by the way. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna, I just want to address this one comment from uh, Alert Tribes member, or not so Alert Tribes member, I don't know, Ro Rotor Tiller one I think Rotor, I think you're in Australia, brother, I don't know. But anyway, uh, this was uh, Rotor's comments to that video. <clears throat> Sam Mitchell, you know, that Sam Mitchell's that little uh, eco pussy over there at that channel, what's that channel called? Collapse Chronicles. <clears throat> Let's see what he's talking about here. Sam Mitchell has a lot of good guests spitting out the truth. So, he gets some respect from me, but, wh but when will Hambone Littletail step up and do an interview on near-term human extinction with Peter Miller? <clears throat> that guy we don't talk about has done about a half a dozen <clears throat> interviews with him already. And hell, I even did one a while back. Spotlights my fucked up ADHD. Anyway, I know you are a busy kind of guy, and you can't find the time for an, an interview with him. Maybe that pussy, Sam Mitchell, would be up to it. <clears throat> and this is my uh, response to Roto Tiller and anybody else wondering why uh, Hambone Little Tail and Sam Mitchell has never interviewed Peter Miller. <clears throat> Take it away, Hambone. That spineless little ass licking toady pussy. Peter Miller has flatly refused to be interviewed by Sam Mitchell or to even let Sam Mitchell respond to the slanderous lies being spouted about him by his chicken shit little guru Guy McPherson. Several other folks have also called on the little pussy to have a conversation with Sam Mitchell. Peter Miller is right up there with Kevin Hester as king of the ass-licking toadies. He is a spineless coward of the most reprehensible, detestable, despicable sort of little slime ball that Guy McPherson has lined up behind him to lick his asshole. Peter Miller is too chicken shit to ever talk to Sam Mitchell because he knows that if he does, his little guru would dump him like a hot potato, leaving him alone in the wilderness licking his own asshole. Hope that answers your question, amigo. Please forward this comment along to Peter Miller. 
I hope that explains why Sam Mitchell has never interviewed Peter Miller. When, when that fucking little spineless little chicken shit wants to come on uh, and talk to me, he knows where to find me. It'll never fucking happen because he and, and all the rest uh, of his ass-licking little toady cronies uh, you know, who have been warned by uh, that spineless little fucking chicken shit Guy McPherson that if you ever talk to Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles, you will be, you will be an enemy of Guy McPherson and, and, and these spineless little chicken shits. J just, just, just take that shit. Fuck Peter Miller and, and all these other little ass-licking toadies. Uh, speaking of ass-licking toadies, I, I do need to uh, let, I, I do need to uh, check in, <laughs> check in with one other comment. As, as long as we're reading comments, uh, oh shit, where is it from uh, Sea Wanderer? Uh, <laughs> I think Sea Wanderer. I, I've never been sure. Uh, there, there's some rumor out there that Sea Wanderer is Kevin Hester. Uh, I don't think so, but I don't know. Uh, sea Wanderer might be uh, Kevin Hester, and, and I do want uh, you guys to just understand for the record that I have uh, removed my ban on Kevin Hester for uh, commenting. Uh, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and, and Collapse Chronicles. Uh, Kevin Hester, I would, I would love you to comment on this one. Are you or are you not Kevin Hester, Sea Wanderer? <clears throat> anyway, this is from whoever Sea Wanderer is. I have a confession, Hambone. I am one of Guy McPherson's ass-licking toadies. Is there any hope for me is there redemption in this sad world? Incidentally, I was excluded from the NTHE support group as well, did not comply with their rules and regs. Okay, this is my response to Sea Wanderer. The difference between Guy McPherson and Hambone Littletail is that I welcome folks who I don't agree with and vice versa 100% of the time. <clears throat> I have always suspected that you were an ass-licking toady. <clears throat> I don't hold that against you, though it does make me question your character just a little bit. Unlike most of your ass-licking toady cronies, you seem to be able to voice opinions of your own that you don't have to run by your little guru for his approval. So, there is still some hope for you to realize the error of your ways. My guess is you will figure out how you have been duped and conned sometime around 2026. Like all your fellow ass-licking toadies, at, wh at which point you will be redeemed, though there still is no hope for you or anyone else. Regarding NTHE support group getting kicked out of there, I am sure that was a big loss to your life, amigo. <laughs> Good old sea wanderer, the ass licking toadies. So, uh, so I mean, ass licking toadies are welcome to uh, you know to be part of Humpty Dumpty tribe, and I guess I can speak for Sam Mitchell over there at Collapse Chronicles, just as long as you promise to play nice. Uh, as long as you want to come on here and, uh, you, you know, make some intelligent comment instead of just your usual boring little ad hominem attacks on uh, Hambone Little Tail, uh, Sam Mitchell, 
uh, the guests that Sam Mitchell has on his show that do not agree with uh, their fucking little guru that uh, humans are going to be extinct in what is it, the next uh, seven years or ten years. I have never in my entire life interviewed anybody on Collapse Chronicles agreeing for one second with the unadulterated horseshit that humans are going to be extinct by 2026 or 2030 as much as I wish they would be, as much as I support the extinction of, hum of humans by the year 2026, ain't gonna happen. Anybody with a fucking brain knows this. Uh, but unfortunately these ass-licking toadies uh, are not people with brains or spines. So, but maybe if they stick around over here in this side, the dark side of the doomosphere, uh, they will get a fucking clue. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up today's comments of the day and uh, come back at you with some good news off today's mainstream media, something we can actually give thanks for in late 2019. Coming right up. Bye, guys.